Sky, we're back here in New York. You spent the last week or so training in Detroit with Alicia Baumgartner. How was that experience rubbing shoulders with a world champion on a daily basis? It was amazing. It was a really good experience. It was freezing. Um, but no, I, I really loved it. Uh, it was really eye-opening to see how they train, how they do things, um, their daily routine and um, be a part of it all. It was a, a really good way to finish up camp. You've constantly taken yourself outside of your comfort zone, just moving from Australia to England for your career. An example of that, how important do you think that is for fighters to put themselves, put themselves in that position to sort of prepare themselves for the top end of the sport? I, I mean, I think it's quite an individual thing, but I know for me, um, when I, even as an amateur, when I was training away, away from my, my home and, and my social distractions, um, that was when I saw my best performances. So I, I knew that going into my pro career, that's what I needed to do. I needed to be away from home, out of my comfort zone, in a new environment uh, where I can be solely focused on my boxing. And um, I think it's worked quite well so far. You boxed all over the world last year, finished 5-0 and, and with the Commonwealth title. It's the WBC silver title this time. What are the plans for you moving forward in 2023? Big plans for this year. Um, it's quite exciting. I Obviously, my main focus is completely on the WC, WBC silver this weekend. Um, but we definitely want to look at world title fights in the next few fights. So um, at the moment, it's just all about getting myself into a mandatory position so that I can challenge whoever has the belts. Um, we'll find out who has all the belts at 126 on Saturday night. So I'll definitely be uh, watching the main event uh, quite keenly. Tanya Alvarez stands in your way this weekend. She's unbeaten. It's the first time she's boxing outside of Spain. What are you expecting from her this weekend? I'm really excited for this fight because she is an all-action fighter. She comes to fight. She's going to want to sit on my chest. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot more action than we've probably seen in my first five pro fights. Uh, I think my past opponents have kind of seen me as a counter boxer and not wanted to kind of engage, uh, I guess, too aggressively, uh, knowing that I'm looking for those counter shots. But I feel like Alvarez, this is going to be her game plan. I think she's going to come uh, and it's, it's going to be, yeah, an all-action fight, so I'm, I'm very excited for that. As you said, the main event is for all the world titles in your division. I'm sure you'll be watching as a fan, but also you never know what could happen in the future. They could be future opponents, so will you sort of be taking mental notes ringside, stuff like that? Yeah, 100%. I'm, I'm watching that main event uh, with the, the plan and the goal to fight for those same belts this year in my next few fights. So I'll definitely be watching as a fan, but I will uh, even more so be watching, almost studying uh, my potential future opponents. Before I finish, we can see that you're in New York Knicks uh, clothes <laughs> and you have been all week. Is that a hint to what you might be coming out with on, on your ring walk? It is, it is. Um, New York always support me when I come out here, so I feel like I should give back the same support. I came out in the New York Rangers jersey uh, for my last fight in New York, and um, yeah, we've opted with the, uh, the New York Knicks theme this time, which I'm absolutely loving, uh, trying to get out to their game on Sunday night after the fight as well.